Hey, it's Christina. You caught me in the bad space, but it's wrong. Yeah, it's okay because we're gonna be real. They know us. They don't know us yet. Some of them may know us, but y'all gonna get to know us. Anyways, today we are gonna tell you three things to know when you get in fear space to go. Hey, what's happening? What, what's happening? We are here to tell you the three things to know before you sign up for peer space. Let me tell you, because we got to tell you all of it, okay? Number one, peer space actually takes 15% off of the overall booking. So Roy, tell them what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, the 15% is for advertising. Yeah. Also for insurance. And speaking of that, make sure you keep all your receipts for everything. All of them. In case something gets damaged. Okay. You can show proof that you bought it and you can get, get reimbursed what they done broke. You hear because me? we been there, did it, and... Got that t-shirt. Hey. Got money back. Hey. Hey. So, yes, keep that receipt. What else was the 15% covering? It was something else. I believe it's also like to you for them bringing... Uh, customers and guests to you and just you being able to use like the platform so a lot of times peer space does the marketing for you anytime somebody googles venues near me or uh, things uh, like meetings or anything that anybody is googling for whatever reason of why your space or listing or whatever category it is um, for whatever reason Google actually peer space pays like a lot of money i know it's well on to the millions of marketing for its hosts for people who are hosts and things like that so it takes that 15 percent, and i know 15 percent is a line i mean and, and, and but you know what it's better than nothing that's what we're saying and i mean if you if you have something nice you got something real snazzy okay you can make up for the the uh, money loss um for you know depending on how much you charge an hour so yeah what is numero dos be patient be patient yes Roy, please tell them because you know yeah being patient and being able to adjust because i'm gonna tell you something you like yo my space look real good but at the same time you gotta wait you know what i mean if especially if it's very new to your area yeah. people may not know about it they may not know what to book or how to book or whatever so when they find you you know, once they find you, you found, okay? Yes. Yeah, once they give what it's going to give, it's gonna, you're going to get what it's going to give, okay? Okay. All right? You better yeah. see. This Put, is why, yeah. Reggie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right? Okay. But once they find you and you and you in their life somewhere, and then you just start to see more and more stuff coming in, even with the 15%, as we said before, with the advertising. Yeah. It, you can become a super host. Uh, once you meet those qualifications and you get advertised even more and you get more booking. Yeah. So even like how he was saying, being patient and just adjusting, figuring out like, why am I not receiving anything? Like if I know, like I know sometimes like peer space have like insights so that you can keep up with the traffic of who's coming. Um, and you kind of like taking it out of outside of yourself and say like, if I was someone else, would I book this? Like, is this more, is this appealing enough to me? So, I mean, if you're, th if you know that your thing is looking a little dry, okay, it's looking a little dusty, you know, long John Silver's dusty and you know, you need <laughs> That's a, a little dusty and mustard. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it is. Who keeping them in business? But you ain't just living. Anyways, okay, moving forward, moving forward. Okay. <laughs> so just adjust, right? Like figure out different things of what you can do. If you need to add a little bit of decor here or if you need to buy an accent piece, like figure out what is it that I can do to change my space in order to drive in more people. So last but not least, give me number three. You can have contactless... A, a booking so you don't have to be here you can you get a lock box if you have a keypad you can give them the code and change it periodically um like i said with a lock box you can also have some kind of security measures like cameras over the door over the garage or yeah. someone in the house you know vivid or ring or whatever company or uh, uh whoever you choose to go with that's very good because you know it makes it better for you can have your space set up and you can leave and you can be confident that it'd be good. And people come in, they do the booking, and they leave, and then you come back and clean up. 
Yeah, so it's, you don't have to be here. Cause you know, some people were like, well, do I have to be here? I'm really weird around people. And I get it, you know? And a lot of times we suggest, okay. Cause there was one time that we were here or during like a booking and it just felt like awkward. The only reason why it felt awkward was because you're like, oh, it's in my space. And then you get into the thing of don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do like, no. Like, don't even make sure that everything is spotless clean. Everything is perfect for your guests. And you going to get up out of there. Because if not, girl or boy, you're going to be extremely territorial and a little possessive. Especially if it's your house, your apartment, your condo, anything that is attached to you. And especially if you live in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody just somebody just opening up a cabinet to get something. And you're like, wait a minute. And don't open my cabinet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just leave. Let them be. Like Roy said, a lot of times, or well, every time, we give them, we text them maybe the day before, then we text them maybe 30 minutes before and give them the lock code, and we just give them like a nice little note. We have, Roy has a vegetable garden out front, so if any vegetables and herbs and fruit or whatever is ready, we actually create like this little cute little basket for them with a bunch of snacks. Uh, fresh vegetables, um, water, candy, and some more stuff. And we have a sign-in sheet that has like a couple of rules up there and a nice Okay, so hold on. We forgot to tell you why we use a sign-in sheet. We use a sign-in sheet so that people can write down their names, the date, and check off which room they use for tax purposes. If you catch it, you catch it. If you don't, we'll talk about it later. All right, bye. Stuff and we have a sign-in sheet that has like a couple of rules up there and a nice welcome note and that is it because we know like it's just better that way yeah so uh, like she was saying with all the stuff with the big content it's also you can set your rules yes when you when you put up your book and they know all the rules and regulations yeah. the do's and the don'ts so they can give you more peace when you leave and leave your space available peace peace yes that's what we need anyway so that is three things breaking it on down that peer space takes 15 percent over your overall booking and this is not just for them to just have that heavy hand it's them actually helping out so look at it in a different perspective outside of them taking 15 percent. and if it's really that serious make sure your space is bomb and make sure that you charge a great hourly rate to where it doesn't feel like you know it's a huge Huge sacrifice for you the second is be patient along with adjusting your space you know what I'm saying you know just do it and the last but not least was one more time honey contactless entry contactless entry so that means that you know you don't have to be here okay you don't so that's it. Those are the three big things that you need to know before you start peer space. And it's really that simple and easy. You know what I'm saying? You make your own rules and you put them in the description and you make sure that people do that. The great thing is, is that you people leave you reviews and you leave reviews for people. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't about to have no little bad ends. Just keep thinking about to just book up in any old place. Like, you know, yeah. they're gonna have to back up. No, you did get denied. <laughs> yeah, actually, denied. Yeah, so, anyways, that's it, y'all. And we will see you on the next video. Deuces. Deuces. Bye. That was really weird. Bye.